we're gonna go through um, this pretty quick. I noticed that they have the disc mover. It's got three lanes, and each lane is a different color uh, little pucks, metal pucks. There's three in each, so there's nine total. And I want to uh, go get them and bring them back into the box that's at the bottom of each lane. So I know that I'm going to, first of all, be driving forward and getting something. And so what I'll do is drive forward until I sense an object. So that down eye will tell me once it's over that puck. So the uh, down eye, here it is, is near an object. And then let's just test that by telling it to stop driving. So now I want that to be able to pick it up. I like to set the magnet uh, to energize before I got, start going. That way, as soon as it gets to it, it's attracted right to it, boom. And then uh, I want to immediately start going backwards. Now I know my starting point, it's negative 800 uh, Y. And so um, I'm always wanting to go back to negative 800 Y, but how do I know how far that is? Well, I can take my current Y value and subtract, and then I would get uh, the amount that I need to go backward. Uh, and then I want to de-energize. So I'm gonna grab this real quick just to have it. And then I want to de-energize or drop. And let's just go forward a little bit for, let's say 400. So this should be the first one. Give it a shot, see what happens. If that is successful, which I expect it to be, there we go. I think I wanna go back a little bit further than 800. So maybe I'll say negative 850. I like that better. Now I'm gonna repeat this three times. And if I've set it up correctly, uh, it doesn't matter how far the puck is from the robot because it's just gonna go until it sees one. And if I know there's three pucks, then I know I only wanna do it three times. And so then that should just go grab all of them. One, and then it's gonna keep driving, sees the second one, takes it back, keeps driving, sees the third one, grabs it, keeps going. It looks like we got a little bit of drift there. Notice the heading is, is not perfectly at zero. Um, so that's something maybe to keep in mind uh, in the future. Um, okay, so now I want to uh, turn right. And I, because this heading stuff is getting a little messed up, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use headings. So I'm gonna turn uh, right, which would be set, turn to heading 90 and then to zero. All right, so I want to turn to heading 90 drive for 800 that's uh, at these lanes are eight the centers of these lanes are 800 apart All right, and then I want to uh, turn heading to zero All right, I'm gonna run that and then continue to talk about what I'm gonna do so I know that I want to run this whole thing three times but I want to run the repeat three times and then I want to run that three times so a total of nine right if you repeat a repeat then it's that times that right in other words if I ask you to count to three and then I say now do that three times you say one two three one two three one two three you've repeated a repeat you re you counted to three and then you did that three times right so then you actually counted nine times all right so I'm in a good position here to loop back around and if I do this exact same thing up here it's going to pick up all those red pucks all right now the problem is is if I just put a repeat here a repeat of three then I'm gonna end up repeating this section down there where it goes to the next lane and I and I don't want to do that three times I only do that twice as I go from the first lane to the second lane and then from the second lane to the third lane but I don't go from the third lane to the fourth lane so the next set of blocks down there only goes uh, twice 
while everything else needs to go three times. So I'm going to do that by creating a variable. And I'm going to say variable equals uh, two or equals zero. Uh, and then I'm going to say uh, if the variable is less than two, run that code and then add one to the variable and then run that code and then add one to the variable. So here we are getting to the end and we're going to notice that it's going to go up and then it's going to go ahead and try to turn and boom, run into the wall and just go crazy. So I don't want that to happen. Um, so it's this code right here that I'm interested in and I need to say if, put that in it, if, and then I'm just going to use the my variable that's already set up. Uh, my variable already starts at zero, so I don't really need to change that. I'm going to get these ready. And then so I'm going to say if my variable is less than two and it starts out at zero, so the first time it will be, and then I need it to change. So it goes through that and so it'll be at zero and then it'll change to one. So it'll be at zero and runs the first time. The second time it'll be at one. The third time it tries to run it, it'll be at two, but two is not less than two. So it won't run it that third time. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know if this, there's, they don't have a lesson or activity out for this playground yet, but uh, so I don't know if this is the, uh, the objective of this map, but uh, I just figured I saw discs of a color and put them in another uh, box of that, that same color. Um, but I do want to extend this uh, lesson. Uh, so I am going to make a second part to this video where we're going to use an array to record the values, uh, the locations of those uh, pucks. And then we can maybe do some interesting things with that information okay but that's been it uh, i guess we'll just let this run here i really appreciate you guys please subscribe and share the video with your friends i uh, really trying to get this channel going and i really appreciate all the likes and support and all the new subscribers really appreciate you guys thanks so much i hope you enjoyed <music>